Hello everybody, welcome to the table. Today we're taking a look at this knife from Bare Edge. And so if you're wondering what Bare Edge is, they are actually a sub-brand of Bare and Sun Cutlery. And this one is the definition of your impulse purchase when you're at the store. This one I picked up from Tractor Supply. And so if you are familiar with Tractor Supply stores at all, there is that little budget area in the front of their stores where they have clearance items, very inexpensive tools, and quite frequently they have pretty decent knives up there as well. So not in their knife section, but I've seen stuff like Cold Steel there, I've seen Bear Edge there, I've seen like Smith & Wesson there before, and uh, it's kind of a nice place just to check out if you're walking through a Tractor Supply. So again, for the price of $10, what are we getting with this bare edge folder? And so I want to make some comparisons to, with this knife also to the uh, ever popular Ozark trail knives as well. Because they are both very cheap, inexpensive folding knives and uh, they're you know, this one is pretty darn good for what you're paying for it, but for 10 bucks, can I really find any faults with this knife? We're going to find out. So, of course, we have a 440 stainless steel blade. It says it's a Warncliffe, but as you can see, this does not look like a Warncliffe blade, so take it with a grain of salt. Steel handle, three and a quarter inch blade, and looking at the blade length here, this does not look like a three and a quarter inch blade, so we'll measure that as well. Um, amb ambidextrous thumb stud, pocket clip. Closed length of three and seven, three and seven eighths inches, weight of 3.7 ounces. So we'll check that out too for accuracy. And there's no model name for this. We can just see it's the 71 211 stone wash folder and it has this black stone wash finish. So let's go ahead and open this up and check it out. Again, this looks a lot smaller than three and a quarter inch blade, but let's measure that for right now before we even do anything else. And so, yeah, taking a look at the overall blade length, it's three and a quarter inches, sure, if you're measuring from the flipper tab to the tip of the blade. But in terms of cutting edge, we're not even at three inches. This is more like two and three quarter inches of cutting edge there. So a little bit smaller than advertised, in my opinion. Overall length is about seven inches long. So those are really kind of the two specs that I'm thinking most about in a folding knife. But let's see how this knife operates. It looks like a steel frame lock. Does not appear to be assisted opening at all. Looks like we have a couple of washers in there. I don't know if you can see those, but they look like your standard like plastic Teflon style washers. Dual thumb studs, flipper tab. Actuation, not great out of the box. There we go. <laughs> but I didn't expect that for something that is straight out of the package. We can see there's a little bit of factory oil still on there. Uh, lock up on the blade, you can see right there, is still pretty full. So that's for safety reasons, I'm sure. Feels nice and secure, no blade play whatsoever. In terms of the pocket clip, it's actually this is actually not bad at all. So we have a tip up, right hand side carry. So nice deep carry pocket clip right there. So you can check that out. A lot of space in this clip. Decent amount of flex to it for your steel carry option. We have a lanyard hole back here. And let's check out the weight. So it was advertised at 3.7 ounces. Let's see how accurate that is. All right, so this knife is coming in about four ounces. So 4.08 ounces. So not quite 3.7, so almost everything on this packaging was a little bit off. We have some jimping here on the spine of the blade. And uh, let's go ahead and test the sharpness real quick. So straight out of the package. Yeah, I would call that sharp. Might not shave hair, but it'll cut paper totally fine. So I like the fact that it is a manual opener. All too often in the budget range, we get assisted opening. Um, some people like that, some don't. You know, in my opinion, I think having the option to manually flip the knife or to just slow roll it open is always a benefit, is always a plus in my opinion. But let's go ahead and put this up next to the um, the Ozark Trail 7-inch folding knife. And the funny thing is they are both this black stone wash finish. Put those right next to each other. You can check them out. But yeah, deep carry pocket clips on both. Both are steel frame locks, dual thumb studs on both. Um, again, they fit kind of that same niche of use for a pocket knife. 
Now we do get some more decorative features here on the bare, bare edge knife. So we have these little grooves milled in. And I feel, I suppose that makes it feel nicer in hand as opposed to the sharp edges on the Ozark trail knife. Um, but yeah, in hand again, they feel about the same. In terms of weight, let's just remind ourselves how much the Ozark trail weighs. 3.4 ounces, so it is lighter weight, even though it's essentially the same size as the bare edge knife. In terms of action, you know, it's not quite fair to compare them. This one has been broken in, so it flips really well. This one is, appears to be breaking in already, so it seems like it'll be fine. Some downsides you might see or you might notice, taking a look at the centering there, you can see that blade is rubbing on the edge or rubbing on the side right here. But for 10 bucks, really not too, not too shabby, not too shabby. Putting these two side by side, again, $10 knife, what was once a $5 knife, once they're available. Um, I think they're very comparable. And at this budget price, I'm not even gonna nitpick on the price difference because these, again, are basically impulse buys. You pick them up at, when, you're, when you're at the register. You know, it's not something you went to the store specifically to get, but it's something that you might walk out with anyway because at the, at the $10 price point, you know, what's it gonna hurt if you buy a, a budget knife, a cheap knife to keep in the car? you know, to, to use for a job or two, and then throw in your junk drawer. Overall, again, I can't complain. We, we've come to a point in time in history where it's actually quite nice to see these budget folders perform pretty darn well out of the box. The only thing you're really sacrificing on is number one, blade steel, and number two, maybe overall build quality. Will, th will this knife last you a lifetime? with casual use possibly, but you're gonna have to sharpen the blade a lot more. That's really the only downside here. So heirloom quality, it's not, but it's definitely enough to get the job done in my opinion. So just a little bit of wrist flick gets you that blade coming out. Pretty impressive, pretty impressive. So um, does it hold a candle to Ozark Trail? I think it's comparable, uh, but I think most people out there are still gonna prefer the Ozark Trail over the uh, bare edge. Um, just because of the price difference, you know, that it's literally half the price. But the thing is, the Ozark Trail Knives, these are not available generally year-round in any decent quantity. Um, it's hit or miss at Walmart whether they have them or not. And uh, this one was available at Tractor Supply. Again, it might be hit or miss whether you can get one at yours. But I would say it's worth checking that little clearance section at the front of your Tractor Supply. See if they got something like this for a nice, cheap user knife. So hope this was entertaining in some small way. If you have any questions about this knife, feel free to drop a comment below. I always love finding these things in the wild and seeing how they compare to each other. Um, but it's really amazing what we get in this modern day and time. Even a cheap budget knife like this, it has stuff like deep carry, uh, flipper tab, stuff like that. That's really nice to see. We're seeing a lot of these um, higher end, you know, accoutrements, so to speak, come to lower end knives. And so we all get to enjoy from that. So hope you enjoyed watching, and I hope you all have a nice day out there. See you next time. Bye-bye.